Hello, so for today's medical mnemonic video, I'm going to go over the withdrawal symptoms of benzodiazepines. Uh, this is a real big one, as you'll see, uh, you know, many patients come in who take benzos. And, um, it's good to recognize the different withdrawal symptoms that can occur. Uh, I dealt with this a lot as a nurse working in the jail. And a lot of people would come in on benzos and you have to take those away. They can no longer take them for whatever reason. And uh, so you saw a lot of withdrawals or people who are abusing them and they would withdraw. So I always think of, uh, so the mnemonic is I can't stand. And I always think of this as I can't stand going through withdrawals. You know, uh, I hear a lot of patients that would say that actually. They would say I can't stand going through these withdrawals. Um, and then also they just can't stand because of, uh, you know, different um, symptoms that occur because of the withdrawals. So we'll start with I, the I is for insomnia, or which means being unable to sleep. Uh, they have a difficult time going to sleep. Um, and, you know, they become very anxious and unable to sleep. Um, oftentimes they have sweating, really profuse sweating. Um, you know, I, I don't know if that goes along with the nervousness that they have, uh, but also uh, to go along that same realm, they also have a lot of tremors. Uh, their hands will shake. Um, and then the A is for anorexia. They're uh, unable to eat or they don't want to eat. Uh, oftentimes they're too anxious or because of lack of sleep and the sweating and the tremors, um, they just do not eat. Uh, a whole lot when they're going through withdrawals. The next is nightmares. So this ties back into uh, the sweating well, and, and even the insomnia, really. So, you know, they're unable to go to sleep. And then when they finally do, uh, I would often hear that they, they when they wake up, they'd have these real, uh, like, vivid nightmares or just dreams in general. Um, and they would wake up just covered in sweat, really sweaty. And then the last one is dizziness, and this goes back to the I can't stand theme. Uh, they can't stand because they, they get really dizzy. Um, they get weak from, from not eating and um, uh, just general fatigue from being up. So, again, that's I stand or I can't stand, and then we just use the I stand portion of that uh, for insomnia, sweating, tremor, anorexia, nightmares, and dizziness. And as always, I like to tie in a picmonic uh, that goes along with the mnemonics that I'm using because it is one of my favorite study resources. As you know, I've talked about it many, many times. And they have an awesome picmonic uh, that goes over uh, benzodiazepines. Uh, and then they also list different uh, other websites you can go to, um, Osmosis as well. Um, in fact, this is a, a good video on the Osmosis website. Um, I'll also, I'll post a link for Pigmonic where you get 20% off if you use my link. And the same thing with uh, Osmosis if you uh, use my link. I think you get like two weeks free for that. But yeah, under Pigmonic, you know, they have these wonderful animations and pictures that coincide with uh, different um, symptoms, or I'm sorry, different. Uh, just different things uh, that talk about uh, benzodiazepines, like they call CNS depression, things like that. And uh, indications, the indications for the medication, what it's used for. In other words, the mechanism of action, they have awesome diagrams and things that they add in, and side effects. So anyway, check out Pigmonic. I'll have a link um, down below where you get 20% uh, off if you sign up. And as always, y'all have a great day.